Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the elements of Microsoft Word screen. So let us see the components one by one. We know that Microsoft Word is a software which helps us to create a document in a neat manner. Let us see the various elements of MS Word. Various window elements of MS Word. So the first one is the title bar. Next is the menu bar and uh, the toolbars we have the workspace where we are typing in the information then we have the status bar then we have the scroll bars and then the scroll box where we can move up and down or left and right the task pane so let us see one by one what is the purpose of each and every component so let us see the first comment which is the let us the diagram let us see the diagram of the screen okay so you can see title bar is in the top which carries the document name then menu bar consists of all the menus that may be file menu edit menu view menu and so on so every menu we have sub menus or sub uh, components where we can have some components under each and every menu then the standard toolbox where we can do all the standard operations of ms word like uh, aligning and then making it the letters bold and all those things comes under the standard toolbox and next one comes the formatting toolbar where we can use give some formatting and also there are some rulers that helps to set the margin and, all, and then we have the task pane so the task pane consists of what is the task we are doing for the current and we have the microsoft assistant which helps to assist in a way where we wanted to do some work in the ms word documents and then we have the scroll bar where we can scroll the screen up and down using the mouse or the keyboard and then we have the insertion point where we can start typing the information and here that the, the cursor will be, will be placed that is the insertion point and then we have end of the document marker so once the document gets over we have the line like a hyphen to say it is the end of the document marker and then we have below are the view buttons where we can have different views of the document like a normal view print view or web page view so those are the outline view so we can have different views of the given word document and the scroll bar this is the scroll bar which helps to move to left and the right and the status bar the status bar shows the what are all the the status of the current uh, what are the programs it is open it is open on for the time being okay so this is the screen of the ms word let us see the components one by one and the purpose of each and every component so first is the the title bar which contains the name of the document initially the document will be given as name document one we can rename the document as we wish based upon our application the name should be given the proper meaningful name so that we can understand and we can also open this particular file whenever needed so title bar is located at the very top of the screen next comes the menu bar that consists of the file menu edit menu view insert format tools and some uh, other windows help toolbar and all those things are table all those things are there in the menu bar okay next is what is the purpose of the menu bar the menu bar is directly below the title bar and it consists of different menus so what are the menus the menus begin with the word file and continue with edit view insert format tools table window and help so each menu will have sub menus to do the process so next we have the next element of the screen which is the ruler which helps to set the ruler like the margin so wherever you want to set the margin the ruler can be placed the like a, the scale is here we can make the document start from any part of this left or the right side that is the ruler okay so the purpose of the ruler is it is used to view and change the format of your document so next component is the document view 
so with the word you can display your document in one of the four views what are they normal view outline view page layout or the online layout so when we say normal view is the most often used and shows such formatting as line spacing font point size and italics so these information will be visible in the normal view next is the outline view outline view displays the document in the outline form that means only the headings can be displayed without the inside text a heading can be moved and accompanying text moved with it so we can move the heading to the locations wherever we need so this is the outline view next comes the page layout view this will give the view of the page how it looks in the printed document so this page layout view shows the document as it will be look looking when it is printed when you print on the paper how it looks that is the page layout uh, page layout view and then is the online or the web layout view with the online layout the document is viewed as it will appear on the web so on the web page how the document up, appears that is the online or the web layout views these are all the four views a document can look like so next so these are all the basic components of the ms word screen so with these tools and the menus and the status bar title and all those components we are will be able to prepare a well defined document and format as we wish so that we can present the document in a very neat manner so this will is one of the important software which helps to format the word documents so it is mainly used for documenting a letter a word a word document the a pages of essays or paragraphs so all these things can be formatted using this ms word hope it is simple to follow and thanks for watching